Hank here. I just got a few minutes and I thought I'm gonna record another short video and uh, maybe I'll show you something useful today. What I want to talk about is a feature that pretty much gets ignored by majority of Emacs users. And I'm talking about EVV. EVV is an Emacs built-in browser and EVV stands for Emacs Web Browser. And uh, as you may notice, I am not a native English speaker. And the first time when I heard uh, I heard this word, Wowzer, I thought like, oh, it's probably something that makes you say wow, right? And uh, it turns out that's th that's not the case. Uh, it's actually, it's uh, Wowzer is something that's a killjoy or something or somebody, right? So why it's called Wowzer? It's probably because it's very simplistic. It doesn't have uh, many features that normal browsers have. And uh, you may ask, why, why then you're telling us to use it? What's the utility of it? Uh, let me show you just a few or a couple of use cases that I find useful. Um, so for example, you have an uh, org mode file. Uh, that, um, just, I picked up a random org mode file. And um, uh, of course, GitHub can nicely render things, show you nicely properly. Uh, but that's not the best, right? Uh, if I take it in raw form and copy this link and paste in EVD, and uh, you can see that it renders in like renders the text of it but guess what you can change it to org mode and boom now i have my org mode file with all the org mode um, features that i configured and uh, i can even execute source blocks uh, do other things that's one use case another use case is sometimes you need to you need to go to or um, study some logs in your browser that's uh, very annoying, it's, uh, it's slow, it's hard to find things, but again, you can copy the link, paste it to EVV, and boom, you have the log, you can even change it to like, I don't know, log view mode, and uh, you can find things easily, you can filter things out, you can find the relevant information, and uh, you can, it's like, it's just a lot better, right? A third use case uh, I, I want to mention is, uh, uh, sometimes you, get things that are uh, behind the paywall, right? Like, uh, let's say, uh, New York Times, right? Uh, you open New York Times article and it would say, if you're not logged in, it would say, oh, you, like, you know, you need to log in. And uh, I can just copy this link, paste to EVV, and uh, boom, I can read the article. Uh, it works for uh, some uh, websites with the paywall, but that's that's pretty useful feature, right? If you're interested just about the text. Um, so these are the use cases. Um, is that it? Is that uh, you, you? You say like you you saying you telling us just to use EVV? That's it? Uh, well, um, not exactly. So uh, one of the things I found that um, for the better efficiency, you can instead of like manually having to copy and paste the links, how do you open things in your browser in EVV uh, more efficiently? Right, and for that there are like. Um, at least a couple of ideas. One of them is like you can use org root protocol. And uh, I'll show you a different way. Uh, since I'm using Mac, uh, this is Mac specific thing, OS X uh, specific thing. I, you will have to figure out how to do this uh, in Linux. I, I'm not using Linux uh, at, the, at the moment, but uh, let me show you how to do this for Mac. If you're not interested, you can, uh, you can drop off the video and uh, uh, if you don't want to watch how I do it, uh, there will be instructions. Uh, I'll post them in the comments section and you can just uh, follow the instructions and, uh, and how to do this. Um, but let's do it. So first thing, uh, how, do you, how do you do this, right? How do you uh, automate the copying the link and uh, pasting it uh, and running uh, EVV in, in your Emacs? Uh, first, you need Emacs to uh, to run with a daemon, so you can use Emacs client. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail uh, here. Another thing, you have to create a workflow in uh, Automator, right? Here's the idea, like, I, I already have one, but I'll show you from um, how to do this from scratch. So you open Automator, you create a new workflow, and um, when it says, like, what kind of type of workflow you want, you say a quick action, right? And then from this list, you would select uh, Apple script, I run Apple script, Right, and uh, over here you paste the code, like little snippet I have. Um, I'll explain it, but 
uh, as you can see one once I paste it it's like if there is no syntax highlighting I'll click this and it's gonna fail because it's not meant to run it like this it like it actually needs a, a browser link right because uh, and let, let's go through this uh, it's uh, Apple script so it says like boom 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 figure out like front end app uh, the, the front app in my case I use brave browser you can change this to your like you know whatever browser it is brave brave is a uh, chromium based so it still um, Apple script uses um, um, chromium uh, things so it's now saying like okay tell the front end applicant the front app the whatever the application is the front most right um, and like take the URL of it and uh, then it says like set this arc strings um, to run interactively run EVV I have to quote it I have to quote it because um, Apple script makes really difficult to put uh, single quotes um, then uh, uh, with this URL and uh, this is a parameter of uh, EVV EVV function uh, let's uh, let's see EVV and uh, the parameter is a new buffer um, it says like always open the new buffer don't reuse it uh, I mean you can you can remove it if you don't like it then uh, it says uh, send it to Emacs client and evaluate this this piece right so that's what you need to do and uh, you save it right and when you save it you, you name it whatever you can say like link uh, and EVV or whatever or URL open 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 URL and EVV and uh, it gets saved into into um, library 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 uh, services I think yeah it's uh, you already you see it I already have one but I just created another one it's the same thing so now when you come to any you uh, in your browser it will be available here you can see services and run your workflow right uh, open stuff or open URL in EVV um, and uh, boom it opens uh, the page in EVV and uh, another thing you need to do is to uh, bind the key to it then you go to keyboard settings right and go to shortcuts find services it would be all the way on the bottom uh, you can see it's uh, somehow it already bound like control shift command L uh, to this thing but you can change it if you want but then if, if you bind it right now I bound control shift uh, command L and when I press it it boom it opens in EVV very nice um, that's all what I have today okay see you soon